What's up guys? It's Kelly and Lila here with Hands Full, Heart Full. We hope you guys are doing okay. Thanks so much for joining us today. We are at the Lake Buena Vista Resort and Spa here in Orlando, Florida. And we're gonna stay here this week, so we want to give you a tour of the grounds and a room tour. So if you're thinking about coming here, this may be an option for you. Uh, we typically stay on property. We decided not to. Now we have a family of seven. It's getting a little harder to do that. So um, we wanted to kind of give you our take on this resort. So this resort here is approximately about three miles from Disney Springs. And it's probably like, I don't know, like 15 minutes from Magic Kingdom. So that kind of gives you an idea of where you are. So let's go take a look and show you around. Okay, so from where I just shot the intro here, um, which is at the right outside of the resort, um, we are literally right beside walking distance to a outlet mall. So there's an outlet mall right there beside it. If you guys want to go shopping or something, you don't even need to get in your car. You can just walk right there. There is also um, a Walmart about a mile away and there's nail salons, grocery stores, gas stations, all within about a mile of here. So it's a pretty convenient location um, overall. So over here is the, right there what we're looking at, is the main lobby where you'll check in when you pull in. So let's go in there and check out the lobby real quick. Right above the lobby up here is actually Reflection Spa and Salon. It's on that top floor up there above the lobby. All right, guys, so this is where you'd pull in and check in when you first get here. Let's see what this lobby looks like. It's really nice. It smells good. It's clean. A little brochure about the resort and spa. This looks like a, uh, like just a little meeting area. There is a place here where you can actually do your Disney reservations. So it's like a touch screen thing. It's really neat. And over here, it looks like they have a little area if you need to get on a computer and use it, make reservations or anything like that. And they have a printer for you as well. I'm not sure what this thing is, but it's playing like some old school Batman on it. Pretty cool. Okay, heading out the back of the lobby, we're gonna go check out the grounds. Um, kind of look around. It's really pretty out here, actually. Oh, I'm locked out. Let's get out this one. Okay, so here we are at the Pirate's Plunge Water Park. And this is kind of the main reason we chose this resort because I knew my little ones would love this pool and this giant pirate ship here. And it has not disappointed. They absolutely love it. We've spent hours here already. And um, we've had a really good time out here. But yeah, it's got a giant pirate ship, really big pool. Um, over here they have a hot tub and over here they have a bar full bar um, that also um, serves like you can see here like nachos beer cocktails pizza wings all that stuff ice cream uh, lots of good stuff going on in there and I will also insert some night footage right now so you can see what it looks like when it's lit up so the kids just had a blast in this pirate ship themed pool they have here. It's a lot of fun. There is actually a slide that comes out let's see, right there. There's a hole right there. You go up the stairs, down the slide, and it's actually pretty fast. Um, so we have a three-year-old. She wasn't big enough to be on it, but the 
my 12 year old daughter could get on it. I think you have to be like four feet tall to do it. It's a really nice pool. And here's the bar they actually just shut down. It's like a nice bar. Really cool pool. Um, we had a lot of fun. Um, there was some people, but not it wasn't overcrowded or anything like that. Plenty of room to play. Highly recommend it. So a lot of these rooms have a view of this pool, it looks like. Um, now we don't, we're staying across the street. We have a view of the smaller pool. But yeah, that's it. Just a lot of fun. Um, the slide is like the main attraction for my kids. They've done it like a hundred times already. They love it. And they have, I think I counted three of these little spas over here by the big pool. Um, and as you can see, it's not crowded at all. I have a little shower there for you as well. So come spread out, have a good time. Over here, it looks like they have like a little beach area, like where you can, it kind of goes down into the water to the pirate ship. Um, it's very shallow there, so the little ones can run around and play right in that area. Okay, right outside the pool area, they have a playground, which you can see Lila up there doing her dance on. So when you check in, you're gonna check in over here at this building, and you could possibly stay in any of these, or you could stay across the street like we did over here on this side. But just so you know, they're all a part of the resort, but there is a street that goes in between them. Now, if you stay over here like we did, um, you have the little pool, like the smaller pool, but you have the Pizza Hut, and the little grocery store, which I'm gonna show you. And also you have the game room, the conference center, the Irish pub, all on that side. Now, if you're on this side where the lobby is, you have the resort up there, the spa up there, and then you get the big pirate ship, like the main pool area over there. And then it looks like in the back, like back there, where the green buildings are, they are building some more, they're adding on to it. All right, so right down from our room is the game room. Let's go in there and check it out and see what kind of video games they got. <laughs> See what they got here. Looks like they're some pretty cool stuff in here, not bad. A couple pool tables, air hockey. They have the token machine, the claw with your Disney character. Yeah, they got the rubber duckies. Those are fun. Um, Man, they got a wide variety of claw machines. Seems to be the special. Got Guitar Hero. If you want to rock your socks off. Terminator. Now these motorcycle ones, these guys are actually pulling them out as we speak. So they may be gone by the time you get here. If you guys are coming here. But overall, a lot of racing games. It's like a fun place for the kids spend some time all right so our room's right up there over there come down you got the game room you got the irish pub um, right here so we haven't been in there but if that's your thing they have a pub and grill here right on the resort for you let's check out the menu all right, here's the menu for the Irish Pub and Grill. So you got, um, looks like they got a breakfast menu. Every kind of pancake and waffle you can think of looks really good. You got some pasta steaks. And then, um, looks like a burger, like, you know, you can build your own burger, stuff like that. The prices here look like, I'm just, looking $12, $13, $10, stuff like that. So not terrible. 
um, looks like kind of your normal normal grill all right let's do a quick tour of the gym they have here key card access you go in and Hooker has already worked out in here I think two times and he told me there are no free weights it smells really good in here though. looks like they have a lot of elliptical machines a little bike some leg press that's an ab workout there's a back machine back here's a row machine over here they have a cable machine which Lyle is demonstrating how to not properly do as she's holding all the plants that she's picked up and then here they have a bench press so you can get swole while you're on vacation all right so right over near our room this was kind of nice we used it our first night here they have a pizza hut express and they have a little um, groceries and gift shop in here and it's all in this building right here and so now it's not a full-on grocery store and I won't go in there right now because I don't have my mask on, but um, they do have a pretty good amount of stuff. A lot of snack foods, lots of candy, uh, lots of drinks, and you know, stuff like if you got your toothbrush or something like that. They got a little bit of laundry stuff. You wouldn't want to go full grocery shopping, but you could get what you need. Also, the Pizza Hut Express, also, they don't have the full menu, but they do have, it looks like, like medium pizzas and personal pan pizzas. the super bikes who knows what they'll replace those with they gone All right guys, now let's take you on a room tour. See what, exactly what you're gonna get when you stay here. Let's do it. Just a heads up, we've already been in and unpacked and everything, so you'll see some of our stuff. As you walk in, pretty decent sized living area here. You got your little kitchen table with six chairs. We have seven people, so we have to use the extra one. That's cool. Um, got a pretty big like sofa sectional here. TV. And then um, looking out here over our balcony, see what it looks like.
and then we have a view of the small pool so the big giant pirate ship pool is over there across the street um, and we have the little pool right here with the hot tub down there so not a bad view all right let's go into the kitchen area here and you got like the big bar the microwave stove full fridge which we filled up um, I will say if you've noticed that all of our groceries and all are all over the place is because of this right here I thought this was a pantry and you go to open it and it's a giant water heater so <laughs> there is literally nowhere to store your food um, which is not that big of a deal but it's a little bit of an inconvenience because you just kind of got to shove it where you can on top of the fridge we put it in with the dishes and because all these cabinets are full of like dishes and pots and pans and all that but it has you know everything you need a coffee maker um, stove toaster pretty much I mean you know everything dishwasher all that stuff okay so these rooms do come with a washer and dryer combo so it's really nice so you don't have to like I know a lot of resorts and all you have to go to the certain area to wash your clothes but here they are in your room and they're kind of those stacker type deals convenient right here's one of the bathrooms pretty good size standard bathroom normal tub and shower one sink what's in here a little closet uh, what's it come with the hair dryer they had like the lotions and soaps and towels and all that stuff Okay, Lila wants to show you guys her room, a tour of her room. Here's like comfy bed. It's also cute. Really bed. bright. Let me get over here so you can see. Danny the dinosaur is not included in the room stay. <laughs> She's got a lamp, a TV, a dresser, a little and nightstand, a closet, a chair. And a chair. So, plenty of room in here. Alright, so let's take a look at the master bedroom. As you can see here, you have a king size bed, two night tables, big dresser, TV. Then, looking out, have a view of the small pool. A couple of people out there today. Very chill. A lot less people in this pool than the other one. There's also a hot tub over there. Um, so pretty spacious. And then you go um, into the master bath here and you got a pretty good size tub as we have already had the kids in it. So there's Moana and her pig. You see the green light? That's the, um, the heart of the Fiti. So, um, well, that's what we're pretending anyway. So, they've already enjoyed that giant tub. And then the shower's over here. The walk-in shower. There's the faucet. Shower head. Pretty good size shower. Too bad. Then you have um, dual sink here. Plenty of room. And then your toilets inside of its own little room oh yeah they also have this big on this mirror here um, this is your big closet it's like your master closet it's pretty good space in here all right let's move on into this bedroom and this has the two queen beds I believe those are um, this is where our teenage boys are staying so they've already came in and unloaded all their stuff, but they have plenty of room in here. Um, you know, comes with a TV and a dresser, 
little closet. Check out this. Y'all gotta see this. Now this is the difference in my two boys. I have one here that brought one pair of shoes and my other son brought one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pairs of shoes for a six day vacation. So, not sure how that's gonna work. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed the room tour. This one that we're in here is three bedrooms, two baths, uh, has a kitchen and washer and dryer and it's like 1,253 square feet. So it looks to be a pretty good size for our family of seven. It's working out good so far. All right guys, so let me give you my final review of our stay here. So if I had to give an overall score out of five stars, I would give this a four star review. That's not bad, that's actually pretty good for me because I'm just gonna be honest with you and give you the pros and cons of what we've seen since we've been here. Um, so, first got here, and my first like overall like thought was, oh, this isn't that bad. It looks like a normal, you know, place you'd rent near Disney, normal Florida resort, and kind of was. You know, you walk in, it's actually a little bit nicer than I thought in the lobby area and all that. It's a little more swank than I thought. Um, which was good. It was a good surprise. Everything super clean, smelled good, all that stuff. I go up to the counter, and this is where got one little negative: is the people working the counter let me sit there for about five to ten minutes. I was the only person in line before they looked up to help me. They were on the phone. They were both on the phone. Obviously, they were busy, but they didn't say, "Hang on one second, sir. I'll be right with you." Anything. They just let me stand there. And personally, I think that's poor customer service. Um, they were fine, like once they got, you know, off the phone and helped me or whatever. But I just make that a little ding. Uh, gave me my keys and then told me that there are no resorts running and the um, house cleaning service is not available due to COVID. Now we're in mid-May now, so a lot of the COVID restrictions are lightening up. But um, that's. The shuttle service is the big one because it gets you to the parks and all that stuff so you don't have to pay for parking. So that's a bit disappointing that they still don't have that. Um, I can I don't care about the room service. Like we'll be all right with that. I'm not too worried about that. It's a little bit of an inconvenience but not bad. But the shuttle service is a big one. I thought by now, you know, I mean it's, it's mid-May of 2021. We could get that going again. Anywho, we'll make it work. We'll drive all that get into our room we get into our room and we're like oh okay cool you know everything was clean um, plenty of room all the stuff you need I'm not gonna say it's like super nice but it's it's what it is I mean it's a, it's a decent clean room it's not anything fancy the furniture is a little worn um, you know if that bothers you then you probably wouldn't like it but I would say they could probably use to replace the mattress it was a little bit of a rough night's sleep but you know the kitchen and everything was everything you need except for like I said the um, no place to put your food no no room for uh, groceries or anything like that because the pantry has a little hot water heater in it um, and then as far as the grounds and all beautiful they really keep them up looks nice um, they have the little stores and all below us easy to get to the pool is incredible with the pirate ship kids absolutely love it they have a towel service down there so you can just go down there and get your towel throw your dirty one in all that's great so far so we've really enjoyed our stay so far so this room cost roughly around hundred and fifty dollars a night um, my that's before you get to the cleaning fees you know it hits you with the cleaning fees and service fees and all that stuff at the end but I think it was advertised for like 147 a night or something like that so you can do the math on that I would add you know Two hundred dollars. I can't remember. It's one hundred fifty, two hundred for the cleaning fee, and the service fee. So definitely, you know, don't forget to add that in. But for us, you know, we typically stay at Shades of Green Resort, the military resort on Disney property. I'm a big on Disney property kind of guy, and it's just getting too small. Like we can't fit in that one little room. This is so much more spread out. Um, only problem is it's not on Disney property, so you can't just go hop on a monorail but um, we'll take the room over that right now with our family. So I hope this review helped. Try to be honest and bring out the good points, the bad points, everything. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you would, leave us a big thumbs up. 
um, consider subscribing. We've got more content coming out soon. Thank you. All right, guys, we hope you enjoyed this tour of Lake Buena Vista Resort and Spa. Uh, it's, it was a nice place. We enjoyed our stay here. Hopefully this helps you when you're trying to decide where you want to stay next time. We'll see you on the next video. Bye. Bye.